These items are being sorted into self-care packages destined for those most in need. They were donated to the Division of Youth by private and public partners for distribution in workshops like this one. Whatever you want that person to be, it is not art class, so you don't be judging your drawing. A series on sexual health and Planned Parenthood conducted by youth workers advocating for positive change in the lives of young people like themselves. At these workshops, topics such as self-care, self-love, personal hygiene, teenage pregnancy, gender-based violence, and healthy relationships will be covered. These topics were chosen because we see a dying need for them within our communities and, am and among our young people. So at the end of every workshop, we give them a self-care package which consists of toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, soap, and the personal items that will help them take care of themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. Kashia and Vinesh, who are members of the Youth Power Group, YPG, say the information gained during the session is vital for learning and the personal development. We were able to learn about the GBV, which is gender-based violence that has been happening in different countries as well as our country here in St. Lucia. It was a very, very amazing presentation because I was able to learn enough about things that are going on in the country much more and even the laws that are there. The youth division is ensuring there are adequate programs in the communities to benefit young persons. Director of Youth Mary Wilfred stressed the importance of reaching the youth at the grassroots level. And so with the implementation of the Youth Workers Program, we mm. have about 22 young people in communities who are serving as um, field, field workers. Mm -hmm. And so they bring, you, you know, they uh, um, um, report the needs of young people because communities are different. Some communities mm -hmm. are you know, more into culture, some are more into music, different different right. communities have different needs and they would pass that on to us and we would respond um, by through, through the appropriate programs. Matters ranging from youth unemployment, psychosocial challenges and homelessness are just some of the issues faced by a division hoping to transform the lives of youth by better equipping them with the knowledge and coping skills. Marvin St. Louis, reporting from the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports.